Hello everybody and welcome back to Gix's Adventures in Skyrim. We just got out of Bleak Falls Barrow, or Temple, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, before I continue on with my adventure, there's at least two things I want to mention. The first one is with, uh, with Janessa related. Um, she was um, following me with a bow and arrow combination as well as a sword and dagger combination. And our last battle against uh, very powerful undead, I forgot what it was called, um, but essentially uh, it disarmed her, kind of like it did with me the first time when I died, um, and I only noticed it in by watching my previous videos where the sword got uh, disarmed and fell on the floor while she uh, kept her dagger the sword was left behind and I didn't see that so um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do uh, at least for her is go to town and get her a sword uh, to go with that dagger um, another thing I wanted to mention is that we've encountered a Dunmer that was trapped in a spider web uh, right after fighting that giant spider and I didn't read it at first, but he did drop a um, a journal, and I think this is it. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna read that journal, um, and I'm hoping it'll leave some backstory or some insight of what I could have expected. And then you're like, it's already too late now because I already went through it. But I just want to see what's in there. Maybe it'll reveal something that might change um, the direction I'm going to go from now on in terms of like where do I want to go? Do I want to go back to Falkreath? Do I want to go back to Whiterun? That kind of stuff. So I'm just going to read it right now and see what's inside. Bring the claw to looking. Okay. Um, my fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Halls of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nord put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. <laughs> it's not much of a test now, is it? Uh, at the same time, it was like I was going to say it's like disappointing, but really I probably spoil it for myself by watching uh, the E3 demo that Todd Howard showcased on Skyrim. I think it was a year or two ago. And probably two years ago, but but anyways, um, yeah, because he specifically showcased parts of that dungeon and how to solve like the puzzle. It's not much of a puzzle, but then again, what do you expect from uh, Bethesda, where while a lot of the stuff, a lot of the key elements are uh, very reminiscent, or at least they remind me a lot of the Mists series, which is a first-person puzzle game. Lots of switches and stuff like that. Um, they remind me of that, but at the same time, this is a... Uh, it's an RPG. It's an action RPG. Um, and I think it wouldn't be fair, like as much as I would want to have more elaborate, uh, more challenging puzzles, uh, I don't think it would be fair for those who just want to kill stuff. And I know that feeling. Um, although I have other games to fulfill that need. Um, you know, they want to be able... So they don't want players to be stuck in something. And they don't want them to go online on uh, for a walkthrough or say how to solve the puzzles and blah blah blah. So I, I really condemn... Uh, condemn... I commend them for doing a good job of at least putting... Even though they're kind of obvious for me, that they're putting hints around like how to solve the problems, and it still puts some resemblance of a puzzle in there. 
I put my air quotes in there because, you know, it's not really a puzzle. Uh, but it's one of those instances where you can't just hack and slash and you have to scratch your head for like half a second. And uh, really... So where, where am I going? Uh, I'm just taking a stroll with Janessa. And... Um, really enjoy, enjoying the view. And uh, I'm just thinking about it now. I'm going to follow that river. And... Uh, well, it's right now it's just the shore of a lake. It's going to be a river. And... Uh, probably going to stop at Riverwood. Hopefully with Janessa at my side. Uh, I won't get too much trouble with uh, the thugs. Assuming they're still there. Um, and I'm probably just going to keep going uh, back to White Run. And really, I'm just going to improvise. Because there's still a lot of stuff I want to do. Even in the south area. Like, I still want to go to Fall Creek. Because I still have a bounty that I've caught. And I want to reclaim. So, yeah. Although, from my understanding, most of the bounties, like, for the, from the thugs, came from Falkreath. <laughs> so, I don't know about that either. So, anyways, I'm just gonna... Enjoy the trip. This is rewarding me for, uh, you know, my success at dungeon crawling. So, I just, like, walk around. Enjoy. Like, I could fast travel there, but, you know, we all know that I just love to uh, roam around and enjoy the, uh, the scenery. Hello? Stupid skeever. Janessa? I got blood in my eye. Were you shooting at it? Because I didn't see any arrows. Or maybe you missed. And I heard... Or maybe it was you. I think I heard someone. It was female. But it didn't really sound like you. I don't think this would be a place for bandits. Hello? That's strange. Oh, hi! I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Fair enough. You're leaving by yourself? She doesn't have much dialogue. I just clicked on her and she just said that, so... I'm just gonna keep on moving. This is where I was. The that's the entrance of uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. It's really strange because on the map it looks like a way. It is kind of far, I guess. But I think the map makes it look way further than it actually is. What a view! I think that Bethesda did a fantastic job at making the water look like water. It's probably not the most realistic water. The hell? All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. You do know that it's two versus one, right? So. How about you make like a tree and leave? Nice try, but you do not scare me. I am not going to ask again. I'm really busy, so can we do that another time? Don't you walk away from me. 
I'm gonna hotkey more uh, potions. So I need. Where is it? Plentiful? No, I don't want some miner. Miner should be good. Yeah, that should be enough. Wow, blocking is exhausting. Okay. Do I have it here? Nah, no, see? So... Uh, portion... I guess I could... Uh, favor... Yes, I know. Favor... Favor in... Wait, no. That I won't. Haha! -ha, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. No, wait. I messed that up. But you know what I mean, stupid potion. Uh, do I have anything else? Still gonna drink though, so bottoms up. Do your work. Yeah, do my words. That's pretty much what it is. Man, this guy's decked out. Like, hey! Yeah. Right in the butt cheek. Did you actually run away? Wait, where are you? Did you actually run away? While fighting him? Well, at least you shot him a couple of times. Ooh. Kind of a weird mix, but all right. Can you actually wear that? I figured because you know you're an elf, you know you might want some elven warmer. But uh, I'm actually digging the uh, leather armor. <laughs> leather. Um, well, there's another guy there. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it either. Wait, okay. Hey, it's Mike! Or Mike! Mike wishes you well. Oh, well, that's it? Okay. Sure. Once Mike got in trouble in Riften, and fled to Windhelm, it is good that nobody there cared. Oh, I know the feeling. Hey, well, see you, take care. For some reason, Mike the Liar reminds me of, like, um... What was it called? Red Rogers Robinson or something like that from uh, Princess Bride, you know, that pirate and never dies. Or the, um... I was gonna say the Grey Warden, but that's not it. The Grey Fox from uh, Oblivion. And yes, I could swim, but I'm actually gonna go around. And go on the bridge because I'm thinking the water is gonna be really cold. And I'm also looking for silhouettes of three guys with battle axes. Man, she's a real ninja, isn't she? Where is she?
real ninja. Alright, let's go. Either that or I'm completely blind and she's like, I'm right in front of you, you idiot! Yeah, it could happen. It's a crazy place this is. I love the ambience though. Hey, chicken. Guard might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Well, last time, you know. Well, you know. That's, you know, somebody screamed like a girl. Yeah, that was me. Um, wait, that's the shop right here. Trader. I'm just going to sell all the junk that I have. And buy Janessa a weapon. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. Excuse me? We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. That's okay. Um. Hey. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Hey, you're lunking. Yeah, I was just about to shop, but, uh... Couldn't help but hear your conversation. What happened? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a break in but we, we still have plenty to sell robbers were only after one thing golden An claw. ornament solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw <laughs> you mean this golden claw you found it yeah <laughs> there it is strange it, it seems smaller than i remember <laughs> funny thing huh yeah i'm going to put this back where it belongs i'll i'll never forget this You've done a great thing for me and my sister. 600, nice. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. It was just one thief, and is this really where it belongs? No wonder it got stolen. You the Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Really? Let's see. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Depends on what you got. But first I'm going to sell my stuff. Let's see. Two-handed, so... Goodbye. I keep. Don't need. All right, so that's that for that. Let's see. Uh, increase your stamina by ten. That's good. See, I don't know if I want to wear that. It is better armor, and I guess with the whole shield thing that I'm going on, like I'm not really going with the light approach. Uh, then again, I don't think it's that much heavier, isn't it? That's four. Where the hell is the... There you go. That's six, so it's actually lighter. Hmm. Then I might be handy for Janessa, since she's taking most of the blunt damage. Uh, yeah, g uh, give me a second. All right, then. Yeah, give me a second. Hey. Need something? No, actually, I was just wondering if you needed something. If that is what you wish. Yeah. 